And now from TreasureIslandOldies.com, here's the rock and roll news for the week of March 3rd. This week in 1966, Buffalo Springfield formed, but they formed as a group named The Herd. Samuel Cardinal Stritch banned rock and roll from the Archdiocese of Chicago's Roman Catholic schools this week in 1957. The very first Supreme single, I Want a Guy, was released this week in 1961. Petula Clark performed before England's Princess Margaret at the London Palladium this week in 1967. A year earlier, John Lennon's comment, The Beatles are more popular than Jesus, was first published in Britain. Sad news in 1963 this week. Patsy Cline died in a plane crash near Camden, uh, Tennessee, along with country stars Cowboy Copas and Hawkshaw Hawkins. Elvis Presley made his first TV appearance in 1955 on the Louisiana Hayride Show. In 1960, Elvis was discharged from the U.S. Army. Elton John became the first rock star since the Beatles to be immortalized at Madame Tussauds Wax Museum in London in 1976. In 1970, Diana Ross made her first solo concert appearance in Framingham, Massachusetts. The Fillmore East Concert Hall opened in New York City this week in 1968. Same year, this week, Elvis's movie Stay Away, Joe, had its debut. The Beatles made their British national radio debut, singing Dream Baby, Maybelline, and Please Mr. Postman on the BBC show Teenager's Turn in 1962. The Dave Clark Five made the first of their 18 appearances this week on The Ed Sullivan Show in 1964. In 1987, Sam Cooke, John Lennon and Paul McCartney, Carol King and Jerry Goffin, and Barry Mann and Cynthia Weil were all inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 1987. A stalker was arrested trying to break into Roberta Flack's New York apartment this week in 1995. The documentary movie This Is Elvis that starred Ral Donner in the role of narrator premiered in Memphis this week in 1981. Janis Joplin was fined $200 for on-stage profanity by a Tampa, Florida judge in 1960. Eddie Fisher and Elizabeth Taylor divorced this week in 1964. Sam Cooke made his first appearance at the Copacabana in New York City in 1958. And unlike his 1964 appearance, this one was less than spectacular. In the studio, Hall & Oates recorded Rich Girl in 1976, Rolling Stones recorded Love You Live at the El Combo nightclub on Spadina Street in Toronto in 1977. Ike Turner and Jackie Brenston recorded Rocket 88 in 1951. Bobby Darren cut Dream Lover in 59. The Everly Brothers recorded All I Have to Do is Dream in 1958. A year later, in 59, the Drifters recorded There Goes My Baby. The Tune Weavers recorded Happy Birthday Baby in 1957. The Beach Boys cut God Only Knows in 1966. And the Eagles began recording I Can't Tell You Why this week in 1978. Birthdays, Chris Rea is 62. Bobby Womack is turning 69. Chastity Bono is 44. Paul Evans, our good friend from New York City, is 75. Eddie Hodges is turning 66. Happy birthday, Eddie. The late... Andy Gibb, born 1958. Tommy Tucker, born in 1939. Murray Head is 67. Mary Wilson from the Supremes is 69. Kiki D turned 66 this week. Sylvia Vanderpool Robinson, part of Mickey and Sylvia, and later on her own with a huge smash pillow talk. She was born this week in 1935. Peter Wolf from the Jay Giles Band is 67. Mickey Dolans from the Monkees, 68. Little Peggy March is turning 65. Randy Meisner from Poco and the Eagles is 67. Songwriter Carol Bayer Sager. She wrote a groovy kind of love, Midnight Blue, Nobody Does It Better, and many other hits. She's turning 66. Mark Lindsay from Paul Revere and the Raiders and then solo career is 71. Lloyd Price is 80. Billy Ford from Billy and Lily is 88 and our senior citizen this week. And coming in at 81 this week is Keely Smith. And from treasureislandoldies.com, That's your rock and roll news for the week of March 3rd. Come to the Treasure Island Oldies blog for all late-breaking news by coming to treasureislandoldies.com and click blog. Thanks for listening. I'm Michael Godin.
Treasure Island Goldie.